What's up, everybody? This episode of the podcast is brought to you by We Print Wraps. We Print Wraps is the wrap industry's number one source for wholesale printed wraps. They offer free nationwide shipping all across the U.S. and Canada. Go to WePrintWraps.com today. Okay, folks, welcome to the All Wrapped Up podcast. If you're new to the show, I've been a weekly listener. Thank you for tuning in and supporting the show. As you know, I don't ask for much, but I appreciate it if you left your feedback and a five-star rating on any platform that you're listening to. It really helps us out in getting the word out about the industry. And don't forget, if you find value in the content, subscribe and tell a friend. And now here's a brand new episode of All Wrapped Up with Edgar and Charnay Herrera from G-Spot Auto Works. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to All Wrapped Up Podcast. We'll be interviewing industry-leading rap companies to share tips, tricks, stories, and more. All right, so we will go live. We have Edgar and Charnay Herrera from G-Spot Auto Works. What's going on, guys? Nothing much. Just, just ended our day. Nice, nice. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go. Find we'll, me off work. <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 crazy. I I love having two people. Uh, honestly, I love having two people on the podcast because it's like, okay, who's gonna say something first? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. So you guys are ending your day. You guys are in California. Obviously, we're mm-hmm. about th- three hours difference. So you're about mm-hmm. f- five o'clock. You guys usually end your days. Um. At around five, or go a little we bit try. later. <laughs> we uh, we we try, but every day is different. So yeah, if, if you're like in the middle of something, kind of like try to finish up, and before you know it, it's ten o'clock. <laughs> oh, geez, yeah, we all know but, those yeah. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, it's definitely. Nuts. Cool. So let's, uh, so let's get right into it. Usually how we start the podcast, I like to know and get an inside look at what you guys got going on at your shop for the week. Um, well, Edgar's doing most of the work this week. He has a lot of performance stuff going on. All right. What, what do you, what, do you, what does he got going on? Uh, we're working on a Dodge Challenger, um, SRT. We're doing a air suspension. Wow. And then, uh, Charnay's gonna top it off with a, like a snow camel, a wrap. The whole thing? So, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so that, that, that's gonna be fun. So it's gonna be both of us working on it at the same time, but it's, yeah, it's, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> how I does, like those projects though. Yeah, when you guys kind of work together on the, on the same thing, how often does that happen that you, uh, are doing well, more? It, it's a, Surprisingly, it happens more often than, than you think. Really? Mm-hmm. Cause, you know, either they come in for one thing and they didn't know that we, uh, we did different things and they end up doing, you know, two or more things. Right. Wow. They didn't know everything that we offered sometimes. Nice. Yeah. And, so, and, so, so it, wor- it works out. And during the week, are you guys working on multiple jobs or is it kind of like as soon as you're done with one, you, you move on to the next job? We can do, uh, we usually have like, Two or three projects we're working on during the week. Wow! But it's, yeah, it's so it's just me and her. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So, the yeah. weekends we try to save it for like the the That's bigger small. projects when he when he has like a, a cam install or or something like that where you really got to focus more, on yeah. one car. And it yeah. Takes more room. Right. And more space. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because you gotta you gotta strip apart a bunch of stuff and you can't be moving yeah. parts around. Next thing you know, right. you're missing bolts and, and nuts. And yeah, it's just exactly. not, not fun. So, so, have- so Edgar, you do a lot of performance and uh, of the business uh, um, at your shop. And uh, uh-huh. Charnay does a lot of the, the, the vehicle wrap stuff. Um, exactly. That's cool. So so it's kind of split as far as you, you, the, the business you guys do, more or less? Yes. Uh-huh. And yeah. what and what did you guys start off doing? Was it more uh the mechanic actually, side? No, we actually started with the with the wraps. That's what uh started uh the business part of it. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's that's what started our you know, our adventure in the in starting our own business. Uh huh. Now how long ago was that? 
So about four or five years ago, we um, he had the idea to wrap his car. Like I was, what I think I was pregnant at the time, or just had our baby, and it was all like, "When you're ready to go, I want to try this this wrapping on our car." <laughs> <laughs> Now that wasn't the picture. Now that wasn't the picture back then when you were like nine months pregnant, still wrapping cars. Because I couldn't believe that. Yeah, no, that no, was before that yeah, one. That was that was, a, that was a, the other baby. That was like our, that was our, our third, third child. The wow. Last one. So you guys, you guys got a lot of kids on top of uh, you know, having having the baby of the of the business running. Right. That's incredible. Yeah. So going back four years, starting a business all because um you wanted to wrap your car? Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. That's it started off as, as like just something different that I wanted to do to my car and it didn't go as planned. It was way harder than, than what we thought than, it was gonna be. For sure. We're we're like looking at videos of like Justin Pate and stuff like that and Thought we had a, a good concept of it, but it was a lot harder than we thought it was the first time around. That's so funny. So the both of you guys, no experience, just kind of like, hey, I'm going to wrap it, try it out, see what's up, kind of self-taught mm-hmm. it to yourselves. and Yeah, at first, yeah. Wow. Now, what did you guys do after you figured out, okay, well, this is going to be a little bit harder. Um, did you guys <laughs> do, think of doing training or just kind of just kept plugging it, plugging it, plugging it till you kind of got it? It was a lot of wasted material. <laughs> I could imagine. Yeah, we kind of <laughs> just like plugged until we got in. Um, we joined like the, the rep Institute Good. and looked at like a lot of their trainings and stuff like that. And, just you know learned as we went pretty much yeah yeah Yeah, we were part of like a um a car club and like the people in our club was interested in it too so we got a chance to practice with them and and you know just gained a lot of experience so that's what helped us move up that's awesome so Mm -hmm. so so getting edgar's car done now what kind of car were you guys wrapping at the time that first car that you guys had wrapped it's the same one I have now. It's a it's a, a Chrysler 300C, and that's not an easy car to wrap. That front bumper is like no, yeah, no joke. Yeah. <laughs> the, that that's another thing. I swapped the front end to a, a to a Magnum front end, which is an easier bumper. That's that's one of one of the reasons I did the swap too. <laughs> that's why. See, you try to get away. See, we try to like get away from wrapping the bumpers, but you completely just change the bumper to have it wrapped. Yep. Yeah, that's so funny. So that's why yeah, it looks way- a little bit different on in the photographs, which we'll, we'll we'll get into your whole build and Mopar side um, of the business. But that's so funny that you changed the bumper to make it a little easier. <laughs> We're doing the same for uh, Charnay's car too, because she has the same car. Yeah, and her bumper is hard, so we uh, she like, she picked out a different bumper, like too a Japanese for, style bumper. Yeah, it's like a JDM VIP style viper bumper that uh that she wants to get, or we got and we had for a while. We just haven't had time to work on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's insane. So so going going back to installing, looking at Justin Page stuff. Did you guys end up getting into training or anything? We did um we did a Avery class together. Mm-hmm. Um, so far that's 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 the only one we've done so far. We want to do other ones, but there's you, you they're rarely like local. Yeah, they're rarely local. We have right. to like go to Vegas or you know Santa Barbara or something. Something pretty far. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's always the toughest part is is trying to find a, a location that's central to you. To, to, uh-huh. to go out to get the training and stuff. But, you know, go, going back the four years till now, how, how do you guys feel now with, with the wrapping side of the business? Oh, man. Things go way smoother now. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, it's like a lot of times, depending on the, on the material, it like lace itself most of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like his car, we've wrapped like almost like three or four times now. Yeah. And like we get it done like in a day. Right. Yeah. Yeah, your 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 install time goes down, uh, a but lot. but your quality goes goes up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, especially having that background with with all your car club friends, so mm-hmm. much. I mean, that's free practice, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, so over time with 
we do a lot of the same cars. So yeah, we try to branch out, but like we kind of get attracted to a lot of the same cars, (laughs) which isn't a bad thing at the end of the day, because you know, square footage wise, what it's going to be, the price should be the same. Uh And at the end of the day, you do so many at the same time or repetition, you just get Mm -hmm. faster in it. So, you know, a day and a half to do an install minus it down to a day. You're making more, right. You're right. making more money, more profit. Can't go wrong with yeah. that. And uh-huh. that's, that's what the business is for, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now a lot of now a lot of your business for people that are listening um, that don't know your business, a lot of the stuff you do are more like customization, um, uh-huh. wraps, yeah, color we, change stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mostly you know we do a lot of partial uh, partial wraps like hoods, roofs, you know, wings. Like mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. And then all the, we do, uh, you know, a couple of commercial wraps here and there, mm-hmm. you know, but not, nothing, nothing too crazy. We don't, we don't do the, the design process. We just do like the installs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of your stuff. But, so you yeah, don't look, the, you don't look for the commercial stuff at all. You try to just keep it not, more the custom. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much what we do is mostly just color change wraps or partial wraps or partial wraps. Yeah. Big props to you for sticking to that niche because it's a, it's a very hard niche to make a lot of money on. Um, mm-hmm. especially with, um, I, you know, I, I don't want to say saturated area, but California, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of wrap shops in California. So yep. I'm sure you, yep. you guys is like competition as far as where you're located is, is pretty, yeah, pretty l- high. Yeah. L- luckily it's not too bad. I think there's like, uh, in our immediate area, there's probably like two yeah. and then they're like probably like a couple of cities over. Right, yeah. cause we're like, we're like in, um, uh, northern San Diego. So it's not too many shops in our area. They're more like down south or more towards, uh, Orange County or LA. Okay. We're right there in the middle. Uh huh. Nice. So you can kind of eat up that market right there where you're at. Yeah. We right. have a, a lot of, a lot of military. Yes. We're, we're next to, uh, Camp Pendleton. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of military people go mm-hmm. through here. Oh, that's awesome! So, do you guys do like military discounts and stuff like that? Of course. Yeah, that's of awesome. Course. Yeah, and that's they're awesome. also like our bigger market for like performance stuff too. Because a lot of times they want their cars to look good, but they want it to sound good, to feel you know, to feel good as well. So they end up doing a lot of the performance gr- upgrades as well. That's insane. So how? So as far as like the the rap side and then the performance side are they both equal as far as the amount of business you guys do or does one is one a little bit more than the other i think we do uh, we do more reps mm-hmm. than uh the performance stuff wow mm-hmm. yeah and, and, and you and you do a lot of the installations and modifications yourself yes That's- we do all yeah all the all the work ourselves that's yeah, insane. so he teach, he's yeah. been teaching me uh, all, everything about engines and stuff, and then he does like airbag, like suspension and um, work too. So I'm starting to learn how to do that stuff, so we can be more efficient and get done a little bit faster than him doing it by himself. That's a great upsell too, as far as like <laughs> the performance stuff. I mean, it's such it's kind of like a one stop shop where you can do. All right. your small exhaust stuff or engine mm-hmm. stuff or, you know, coilovers, lower your car. That's always like the quick and easy thing to do. Um, right. and then, and then you get, do a, you know, a blackout, uh, uh, vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Chrome, yeah chrome, chrome delete. delete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. And it's such an easy sell and you just see the dollars just. The invoice is just getting longer and longer, <laughs> right. which is great, which is great. I mean, a lot of the shops do want to advertise more, you know, especially the ones that do the color change and the customization mm-hmm. and the delivery graphics and stuff like that um, mm-hmm. to, to add that to their list of services. I know um, it's uh, FMS, I think it is. Um, uh-huh. Rap Pixie, they do a lot of detailing and they do, trying to get into oh, like yeah. window tinting yeah, and stuff like that. That's always a big little upsell on top of the rap stuff that they're doing. Y- yep, 
the, yeah. the detailing, ceramic coating, stuff like that. It's always it, it goes it goes pretty good actually with you know with the rap business. I mm-hmm. think hand in hand for sure. It's a game. Yeah. It's a game changer yeah. for our industry because at the end of the day, it's, you always get that you always get that question when they pick it up. How do I clean it? You know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's How like oh it? well, ceramic coat it, and then all you have to do is just wash it. You're good to go. Right. Yeah, you know. So, um, before we get into like like all the other stuff I have uh, on my mind that I want to ask you guys, I want to get a, a a small bio of you know where you guys come from separately. So, kind of your end, um, uh, how you got into the industry, um, whether it be the, like the rap side or the mechanic side, and then uh, Charnay, your side, it just you know basically what what you guys were doing prior to even getting into this industry and thinking about opening up your own businesses. Cool. Whoever wants to answer uh, that Charnay, one first. Charnay, Charnay, Charnay wants to go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, but before we went in, into this stuff, I was, I was working for a cable company. I was just a, a dispatcher, a supervisor for, for Cox. Um, for about five or six years. And prior to that, I was a preschool teacher. Preschool I, teacher. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> How long were you doing yeah. that for? Um, I think about four or five years. Wow. That's great. Yeah. So, I mean, I, we did that. And alongside of, you know, working, we just had the hobby of cars. Like I said, we were in a car club. So, we always did. We always did like little things to our car, but not as dramatic as vinyl wrapping and stuff until later down the road. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then that whole thing with had to go one at the rapist car got got you kind of interested in installing. Yes, exactly. That's and awesome. then like once we once we opened our business, then I got really interested in the the his side, like the performance side and things like that, because you know it's just. Uh, having a Mopar, it kind of opens your mind <laughs> yeah. to a whole bunch of, uh, to a whole bunch of things. So that's kind of what got me into the field. That's awesome. So as far as, uh, you know, it going the way it did, as far as Edgar having kind of like the background of, um, the customization stuff and then you taking mm-hmm. the reins of the rap stuff, was that just kind of like something you guys were like, it kind of just, it kind of just worked out. Mm-hmm. It was a, yeah, it was um, because we both had jobs, like we both had like nine to five jobs. Yeah. And when we first started the business, so so we were both still working full time jobs. We would go work at the shop after work, and then um, you know, she was able to do the rest by herself. So that's kind of what what she just took control of. Mm-hmm. Just, right. You know, that's that was her thing. So she could do that while I was at work. There's, you know. And then eventually we're both able to quit our jobs and do something we like to do and not just go to our nine to five jobs. That's probably one of the biggest questions I get, um, Mm -hmm. on a DM, like on a con, Mm -hmm. like on a constant, like every week I probably get one (laughs) DM. It's, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. And like I've said in the past, the podcast has been unbelievable with the, the amount of love and people just writing me these crazy DMs about how, you know, listening to the podcast has motivated them and, and you know, get, getting right. back nice. up on the horse and just pushing through those hard times. Um, yeah, it's, l- definitely, yeah, it's definitely not easy to transition from, from like a nine to five, having to pay bills, taking care of the kids to your own business it's, right it's, it's, it takes a yeah. lot of work absolutely and, and you had mentioned that you guys had the shop even prior to quitting your own job so yes you, so, yeah. so how long was the transition from you opening up a shop paying rent and still working your nine to five before it, you guys became it was, full-time it was about a it was about a year because yeah that first year in business was was pretty rough because it, it wasn't consistent you know like you were you know, getting bare, people are barely, barely getting to know your your shop, right? So it's you know we didn't have that many customers going through there consistently. So Plus that we had to make. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say so that was probably the hardest part of of yeah taking that leap. Mm-hmm. Right, ba- so we had to make our appointments around work mm. and kids and stuff like that. So 
that it was it was kind of kind of sketchy and kind of hard in the beginning because of that. Yeah, I I believe it. It's it's a tough transition, and then on top of that, you, you know, do, do you ever did you ever think then like okay, we're doing we're making money, but the money is only paying for the shop. Why are we, yeah, why are yeah, we even yeah. doing this now? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? There's a lot of times where we thought about like, man, is this even worth it? Or, you know, like, oh man, it's, it got, it got pretty crazy. We just gotta, gotta push, push through it. Yeah. Luckily we like balance each other out. Like whenever I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. He's like, no, like stick with it. We're going to make this work. And then whenever he felt this, like, oh, it's not going to work out, then I had to say the same to him. So like we were a good uh, support system, I guess, to try to make make sure this worked out for us. Yeah. Yeah. Were, were there any other hurdles that you had to overcome starting do, doing that whole transition, the nine to five and working long weekends and and all that stuff that that maybe um, other people that are trying to make that transition might be able to kind of like swerve around. Um, I mean, well, I mean, one major hurdle if they have kids is, is kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That that's definitely a wrench right in the middle of everything. <laughs> Having family life on top of working yep. nine to five and trying to yeah. start your own shop. My God. Yeah, that too. Because I mean, I mean, the kids. Luckily, they they go to school, you right? Know? And and um, you know they're not they're, they're not at the shop all day, but after school they're there. And kids can't be somewhere, you know, a long time without, you know, breaking something. And, and without, a lot yeah. Of entertainment, yeah, yeah, without attention. Yeah. yeah, without attention. Yeah. So luckily, like, you so know, is that why you guys had more kids? <laughs> you, you oh. watch your brothers <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right so that's the oldest right. watches them <laughs> that's so funny so what what are their what are their ages now they're 11 5 and 1 wow 1 yeah. holy cow Okay, but yep. they're not that bad because the eleven-year-old can kind of pick up the slack when you guys need a little bit of time yep. to get yeah. something done, which is good, uh -huh. and, and help out and, and feeding and stuff like that. And we gotta we gotta bribe him a lot. <laughs> oh, I believe it. He probably makes oh. more money than you guys. Yeah, yeah. He knows. Yeah. Like, if you, if, yeah. He knows how to work it. You know what I mean. He's uh -huh. figured out your system. <laughs> if you guys behave, we'll go. You know, we'll go to Dave and Buster's or go to movie. Yeah, it's always an incentive, man. Yeah, yeah. He's always. Like, Deal. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so having the kids at school is a good relief. Obviously, you have mm -hmm. the little one that probably goes to daycare. Or actually, or you... his his grandma helps out a oh, lot. Family, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, family is always key to to um helping out with stuff like that. Now, as far as yes. like your family, were they supportive as well with this transition? Yeah, very supportive. Yeah, no, it's actually yeah, they were pretty pretty supportive. That's what that helped out a lot too, because if there's anything we needed some assistance in at the shop or or anything, um, like his parents or siblings and stuff like that were always willing to to help us out where we needed them. So that's great. That's great. Yeah. That's such great. I, I love hearing stuff like that. It's, you know, building a business is one thing, but at the end of the day, you're kind of building the business to provide for your family. And right. when everyone can understand that and kind of go through the struggles with you, it, it's, it feels mm -hmm. nice that you don't, you're not alone in, in, right. in the process, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so when they're at school, you're doing your thing. Do you guys have to pick them up at school and switch off mm -hmm. certain days? Sometimes you'll go pick them up. Sometimes, uh, Sharnay will go pick them up and you guys kind of manage your, your weeks kind of. Yeah. We take, uh, we take advantage of the time we pick them up to get lunch and, you know, like. Yeah. We just have that as like a lunch break up yeah. to switching off. Right. Right. Yeah, that's insane. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of did something similar. I used to take my daughter with me a lot of the time. She was still a, a newborn, probably like a year mm -hmm. or so. I take mm -hmm. her, I take her with me on installs in her, uh, in her baby seat. You know what I mean? Oh, no. <laughs> pop, pop her right next to me, let her a door, go to the other side, let her to the other door. 
and uh, <laughs> she would go everywhere with me. And it's funny, a lot of my um, old clients from uh, God, like ten years, will see her now. She's she's gonna be twelve in a couple weeks, and uh, they'll be like, "Yo, it, like, is that your little one that you used to bring <laughs> when you used to letter my trucks and vans?" I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "Oh my God, she's so big now. It's crazy. Right. Time fly. I mean, years fly by." Um, uh-huh. a lot did, faster did when you pick uh, up on it. No, like any interest in it. Or? You know, uh, they pick up a squeegee and like do a couple things. But I'm gonna interview you today. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Um, I would hope, honestly, I would hope she would pick something up because I I feel like you know pr- props to you, Charnay, for for being in the industry and and. And, and doing what you do because there needs to be Thank more, you. there needs to be more women in the industry, um, doing a lot of stuff. Yes. And there are some great women in the industry, designers, installers, business mm-hmm. owners right. that are just killing it out there. And I, I, you know, it, it's very diverse the way the industry is and it's, it's, right. male, it's male dominated a little bit, but I love seeing the females and the stuff they come up with is just, you know, it's like you guys are on a whole nother level sometimes right, when I see stuff, you know? Yeah. And it seems like, um, like, I like that they're all supportive of each other, too. Instead right. of being like, yeah, instead of being envious or anything like that, like the industry that we're in alone, everyone seems to be like yeah. very supportive and understanding and and everybody uh, shares tips. Yeah. And yeah. Like, Right. Like we all, it, it seems like a lot of us have like the same, you know, like the same, uh, not, not problems, but like the same, uh, struggles, experiences, struggles. Yeah. yeah. Like all the people we talk to, like when we go to the, you know, the conventions or at FEMA or whatever, it's all like we can relate. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, it's such a great feeling. And like going back on, on, on that, I would love my daughter to pick up a squeegee and just, make something out of it because mm-hmm. I, there's there's so many avenues that you can take in this industry yeah, right. that you don't get in other industries you can right, you right. can just be a mobile installer you can have a brick and mortar you can be just a print shop you can do mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. much i mean it, you know i don't push it on them um obviously i've had a lot of people know i've had a 3 year hiatus out of the industry <laughs> But I mean, uh-huh. they still, I still have all my tools. I still pick up new tools just to have. And, they, right. you know, I still have scraps of vinyl once in a while. She'll, she'll pick some stuff up and try to wrap something she has in her room or whatnot. But mm-hmm. I try not to push it on them. But if it's something that they want to learn, I'm, I would be ecstatic. I would be the, the happiest dad in the world to be <laughs> like, I will that's teach what, that's you. That's what we tell our kids. We're yeah. like, if one of you guys picks it up, we're good. Right. Yeah, you guys can take this this company and make it your own. I think the only one that's going to pick it up is the baby because he was pretty much like born into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he's, like, he's the only one that like grabs a squeegee and sits next to me trying to like wrap the car. That's or, so You know, <laughs> pull the vinyl or something. <laughs> I- I'll tell you, there's no better feeling than having your family involved in in a family business at the end of the day right. I, I think it's uh-huh. such a great feeling when you can see your kid putting a squeegee in its mouth or <laughs> picking you know walking around you know what i mean trying to like squeegee stuff i i think uh-huh. that's just so adorable it, it cracks me up when i see pictures like other people's kids doing stuff but it's just like that's awesome you, you can't yeah and you can't teach them that stuff that's just things that they see you do they're like oh uh-huh. mom dad puts a squeegee in their mouth and then they hold the vinyl like this and then they take it out of their <laughs> mouth and squeegee it i'll do the same yeah. thing you know it's so funny it's yeah i i love it i love it anything that has to do with family and being involved i think it's such a great thing and i think like we all i think we all would agree that we don't push it on them if they take it they take it if they don't Mm -hmm. you know i don't mind if they're going to be a doctor or a dentist or something either but yeah you got to support them either way either Mm -hmm. way exactly Exactly. Now, t- touching on um, events and trade shows, I got to meet you guys for the first time at the right. Raps, Raps VIP event, which was like unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's what we said too when we got home. I was like, I can't believe we finally met up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was surprised with the amount of 
people I got to meet that I wasn't expecting and, and just people that I, you know, that I maybe don't follow on Instagram for whatever reason. I apologize, but um, mm-hmm. there's just so many people out there and right. would come up and, and be like, oh, I listened to the show. And it's it was funny when you could come up to me. I'm like, yes, I know exactly who you are because you got the <laughs> best name I could ever think of. <laughs> Like, I'm like, that shit is so genius. Like, G-Spot? Really? Like, you went there? Out of all the names you could have picked? G-Spot was the number one pick? It was a good play on words. It was definitely a good play. It took me a second. I'm like, G-Spot. I'm like, "Uh, I hope the G's for graphics. Graphics spot? It was garage. Garage. That's where we started off in our garage. Garage spot. Now that makes sense. <laughs> so everyone can take their mind out of that gutter. All right. Exactly. You know, sorry. I, I should have asked you that first before we it's got 30 good. minutes into it. Cause that was like one of my things. I'm like, I got to ask them like, like why G spot? Like it was, we get that question all the time. It's I like, can it's imagine like when we, when we filed for our business license, I was like, I think <laughs> we should like, like maybe change it or. Because you know, a lady in the at the at the at the um and it had to be a lady, office. right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she just gave us like a weird look. Mm-hmm. Or um, sometimes when I pick up my our kids from like for, like shirt. daycare and we have our G spot shirt on, I'm like. Uh, I don't know. Like yeah. sometimes they, uh, we get a look. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I could get that. I mean, I'm sure that doesn't hinder you as far as like business wise, because I think it's a good right. good play on words and the type of demographic that you guys cater to. They totally yeah, like, understand that, uh-huh. right? It's not like you guys are going for like big corporate companies and you're walking into these conference rooms and like <laughs> slapping down a big G spot banner in the background. <laughs> so we're ready we to do some a, business today. Well, that's what we had jobs with like, uh, you know, like, like, uh, commercial reps for, um, daycares. Oh, oh yeah. so you can, you can, you can kind of imagine <laughs> oh. how that went. Uh, yeah. So who, who do I write the check to? Um, G spot. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Can you say? Can you spell that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, that's gotta be. It's almost like you guys gotta have like a, um, like a secondary name for those types that, of businesses. That, right. That, that's kind of yeah. That's kind of like uh, we're probably just gonna start using hers. The juicy wraps. Ju- yeah, yeah for, that's uh, even better. I mean, yeah, for, for that kind of stuff. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I mean, it, it's so funny because it's like, you've got, you got juicy wraps, which is you, mm-hmm. Charnay, <laughs> and then you got G Spot Auto Works, hand in hand. It's like, huh, okay. What do we, what do we, like, what are we selling here? Are we selling wraps or are we going XXX here? Like, <laughs> oh man, it kind of has to go together. It has, right. it has to. I mean, you've you've got a theme going. You might as well go all the way at this point, right? No, no pun right. intended. But um, <laughs> um, that's such that's so cool. And and, and honestly, I thought it was uh, it was graphic spot. I, I I assumed, but but garage spot is is awesome because it it relates to how you guys started. So you have a backstory right. on that. Exactly. Yeah. Cause it, yeah, we did start out of our garage. So mm-hmm. it just, that's, it just stuck. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, Edgar, we didn't talk too much about your background. Um, how did you get into like the mechanics side of things? Did you kind of take a tech? Did you go to tech school or is it just self-taught? I, I did a, well, actually I learned a lot of it from my dad. Cause he used to build engines and, you know, work on his own cars. Wow. And then I took auto shop in, in high school and a little bit in college. But, um, I mean, that's, that's just pretty much it. I've always just been like an auto enthusiast. So it kind of just, for me, it was, it wasn't that hard to, you know, like kind of the transition between my, my nine to five job to the business was the same as Charnay's because we work at the same company or, you know, the telephone company. Mm hmm. And then, yeah, except I was a technician and she was a dispatcher. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. is that how you guys oh. met? How'd you guys meet? Oh, we actually <laughs> we met in so high let's, school. Let's 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 go back. Let's go back real back. <laughs> back in time. Yeah, yeah. How'd you guys meet? 
We met in high school. High school sweethearts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Now, did you guys meet like uh, at the at the end of your high school career, or in the middle, in the beginning? Like mid middle. Yeah, like Not, middle. Yeah, middle. S- sophomore, junior year. Yeah. Did you take it to prom? No, we uh we actually graduated a uh, a year different different years. So oh, like, you we guys were in two different we grades. Yeah, we weren't mm-hmm. going going out together yet. <laughs> ah, I see, so. I see. So after 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 high school, you guys obviously stayed together. Yep. Mm-hmm. You, how long you guys been married for? Been married seven years. Wow. And then yeah, been together since two thousand seven. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Congrats on that. That's awesome. Thanks. That's awesome. And and three kids, three kids later, and a business later. You guys are yeah. do, you guys are doing great. We're still here, not giving up yet. That, that's <laughs> so. it. That's the name of the game. Yep. You you, de- you definitely can't um you can't get give up. You know right. when no, it com- don't, don't comes give to up. That stuff. Don't give up easily. You gotta just keep going. Push through it. Tomorrow's another yeah. day. You've got a, a brand new twenty four hours to work with. Um, exactly. You know, the first twenty four might have sucked, but you always gotta <laughs> you gotta restart tomorrow, you know what I mean? Right. Now as far as like mentors and stuff, uh in the industry or not in the industry, who are you guys looking for like inspiration or to kinda keep things kinda going? I don't know. It's 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 uh there's too many to, to even start listing. Mm-hmm. Like like we said all the all different rappers that we've met all the different shops they're all so cool and you know they're helpful we ask them hey how do you you know how do you do this part we you know have issues with doing this and this and they have no problems you know sharing their experience and their knowledge so yeah like chuck from canada oh, or Chucky. demos yeah, yeah and Ch- and demos too like we we met him at the raps con yeah yeah I guess. we we talked to him for probably like an hour because we we're just so amazed with all the information and 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 stuff that he had to give and yeah it, it was awesome. Yeah, everybody I, like everyone there was pretty awesome. And you showed how did you guys go all three days at the RapsCon? We just went the two two, two days, days. Uh-huh. two days. And and what did you guys think about it? We thought it was great. Uh, we we actually missed the the one last year. And this year we didn't know what to expect because it was our first time, mm-hmm. and we thought it was pretty cool. It's like every, you know, everything in one place. Yeah, right. we thought SEMO was great. I mean, it is great, but it was cool to have a convention that was like for, for yeah industry. for our industry instead of us going all around SEMO to find the thing little things for us. Right. Yeah, <laughs> F- finding those people that you follow online. Right. And, and, uh-huh. And sp- People that inspire you more or less in the industry that you kind of follow and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just super humbled with the amount of people that were there. I, I had such a great time. Right. My, my last show I had, I had gone to was in, um, in New York, New Jersey, New Jersey. Um, mm-hmm. that was many, many moons ago, many moons ago. And I think it was the, uh, SGIA. I think that was like the closest thing to me that I could afford to travel and go and check out. And back mm-hmm. then, there was no such thing as rap demos. There was there was actually a, a husband and wife like duo, um, and they would do one demo at a booth, and I forget what which booth it was. Um, mm-hmm. But that was my first kind of interaction to raps. Um, right. I asked a lot of questions. I'm like, what's this? You guys are like putting stickers all over the car in one sheet. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> what's going on here? Like, this is kind of cool. And I'm, I'm literally talking like, like eight years ago, 10 years ago. And mm-hmm. when it had just first hit and, um, that was the only thing. And then social media still wasn't like what it is today. And, right. You know, little by little, you figure out, oh, this is a wrap. Like, whoa, okay. Well, mm-hmm. There's yeah. a whole nother side of the <laughs> sign industry that I don't yeah. know about. Exactly. Like, yeah, holy luckily cow. for us, it's like, it, it's kind of, you know, it's pretty mainstream now, but mm-hmm. we, we do get, you know, some people here and there that, that ask, what's, what is that? Mm-hmm. What's a vinyl wrap? Right. So it's, it's yeah. Kinda, 
kind of hard to explain. Well, it is basically like a big sticker, right? That, but it's it's not that easy. No, no, definitely not. Lot lots of lots of trial and error to get it right, and and uh-huh. all that jazz to go with it. So, as far as networking and stuff, did you guys get a lot of networking done at RapsCon? Yeah, I think, I believe so. Yeah, I think that, that, yeah, we did. We, uh, a lot of, a lot of those, those people we've met before at, from, uh, the SEMA conventions. So it was, it was nice to see them again and right. know, talk to them. And I was happy to meet, uh, Christine McKay, Curvaceous Rap. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've been following her forever and it was just awesome that I got a chance to meet her at the, at the VIP party. Cause I looked up to her for a while just because her designs and everything are just amazing. The phenomenal. She's just like, yeah. like I said, like, like some of you guys are like on a whole nother level. Like <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. I saw the selfie you had posted, uh, with her on your, uh, on your Instagram, oh, yeah. which is kind of cool. I mean, that's the best part. It's seeing people that you follow and having that one on one interaction with them and mm-hmm. kind of just picking their brain. And just yeah. being a wealth of knowledge. I mean, you learn so much. I mean, I took away so much from being there. It was just amazing. Did you guys end right. up seeing the uh, the Yellow Tools booth? Yes. Yeah, Did we you got guys, some tools from there. <laughs> what'd you guys What'd you guys pick up? What was that one? Um, it's that that knife that has the wheel on it. To uh, I forgot what it's called. Oh, the, the little sa- roller sa- blade sa- one. Sasser. Sasser blade. Sasser? Yes. Yeah, that one. Sasser. Yeah, Sasser. Wanting- yeah. <laughs> you say sasser i say say sir <laughs> yeah we thought that was pretty cool i thought I, that is just an, a, a genius way of cutting between yeah. the gaps of the doors perfectly yeah and they're like wrap hooks and stuff like that those help a lot too oh hell yeah the, the the little uh teflon kind of uh-huh. i always say it, it's like the dentistry tools <laughs> to get behind yeah. the rubbers they and stuff that like kid. that. Yep. Yes. It's phenomenal. Oh my God. Which which yeah. booth? Now you talked about uh, Demas, and, and he was in the Rap Institute booth. Which one right. of the booths um, did you guys like the most? Ooh. Mm. I, was, I would say that one. That one. That one's pretty cool because we were going over, you know, like. Uh, like commercial rap and stuff, like the deep resets on the bands and yeah. the stuff that we don't normally do. Mm-hmm. And so he was touching up on that and, you know, different, different tips and tricks to, to get it to stay in there and, and about the different vinyls that, you know, that you use most of the time for commercial raps, which is something that we don't normally do. Mm-hmm. And we got a lot of, a lot of information. That's from, awesome. From that one. Yeah. Did you guys end up using some of the material they had um, from the rolls? Yeah. To yep. install? Yeah. Uh, we used um, the tech wrap. The tech, tech wrap. Yeah. yeah. How'd you, how'd yeah. you guys like it? It was pretty good. Like it was. It's not like most vinyls are. So it was. It was nice it's to be able yeah. to to test it out and see how it works and stuff like that. We've been looking for a customer to that comes with with the idea of wrapping their car one of their colors. Yeah, we actually did a. Uh, gold chrome from tech rap mm-hmm. and and that's it, it, that, that one kind of scared us from you know from, from trying any of their other products <laughs> but we got we <laughs> she's, she's she's getting those memories back edgar yeah. of the nightmares of putting it on oh, and the turbulations she had to go through to get that material right. to work well <laughs> exactly and it wasn't like you know like chrome from like avery or 3m it's, it was it was different, mm-hmm. so. right? And that, and like it was a, it was the Camaro, so it was like a very Ooh. curvy car. Yes, yes. probably yeah. not the best car to put a tech wrap wrap on. <laughs> 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 oh man, yeah. especially especially unexperienced with it, because right. we didn't know how it was going to react. Or uh-huh. you know, like right. you said, it's a lot of trial and error. Uh-huh. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, it, it's figuring out the materials, figuring out a technique. Each one has its mm-hmm. own thing. Which which right. which materials do you guys sway to um, the most that you guys use day, day in and day out? Avery. Avery. Yeah, yeah. Avery's definitely a go-to. Yeah, but yeah. 
Yeah, we like Avery. Like KPMF is we we like a lot too, or um, Oracle. Yeah, Oracle. Uh-huh. Oracle. Yeah, I haven't yeah. I haven't installed any of the Oracle uh, rap films, but I was a very big Oracle um, commercial rap guy. I used to print a lot oh, okay. on Oracle back in the day. Um, uh-huh. And the in the media worked really really great. I did a lot of signage with their um, Rapid Air release that they had. Oh well, yeah. Obviously, the technology has uh, skyrocketed since then, um, right. which I'm almost positive it's way better than it was before. Um, how, 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 in comparison to like KPMF, it, is it similar techniques for install? A little bit aggressive, but it gives you a little, a little wiggle it's not, room. It's not as tacky. It's yeah, not it's as not as tacky. tacky. Yeah. Uh huh. That's awesome. No, I, it's yeah. Have you guys wrapped a lot with the KPMF product, like full, yeah. full vehicles? Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice. What what colors have you guys used? Uh, we've done the let's see the the Morpheus Morpheus black. We've done uh black. Uh, uh, was it the the copper starlight? Yeah, that one copper starlight. That's a pretty cool. Yeah. Color. Um, then the one. There's a, there's like a blue to black. Oh Jeff yeah, one. the the. Blue black iridescent or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah those are those are ones we did the full wraps. They've got some like awesome colors, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they do. do. I just love. So, do you guys smell? Like, you guys obviously talk to Chuck in the KPMF booth. Did you guys get like the sample books and everything? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, how'd, yeah. How'd you like that that green black flip color that they oh, were? It's a, I, I like that one. Yeah, we're trying to. We're trying to see if we can get one of our SEMA builds to do that color because <laughs> it, it's a pretty cool color. So, so hopefully you, one of them pick it. So you guys are doing a SEMA build for this year? Yeah, we're doing a, like four of them. Yeah, we're doing four vehicles. Four? Yeah, so that's, it, yeah that's going to be crazy. Holy yeah, so next cow. Year, uh, so let's see. Three of them, we're just wrapping. Okay. And then uh and then the other one we're doing a twenty eighteen Camaro, that one we're doing air suspension and, and a full wrap on. Mm-hmm. Wow. So so those it's gonna be crazy this month. That's yeah. insane. So a lot of people you know, a lot of people strive to at least do one in their career career. Uh huh. And you guys are doing four in one year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it, I don't know, it's crazy. Last year we did one last year we did two. Two? Yeah, we did the Challenger and the truck. Oh yeah, so there's yeah, so we did a yeah, so we did a truck for for TIS wheels, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then um, let's see, and then and the, the the Challenger for extreme dimensions. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. And you guys were only been in business for four years now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, four years so far. Yeah. <laughs> That's 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 amazing, guys. I mean, uh, I mean, they just they go by quick. Bro. Yeah. Oh, I he believe has, it. Yeah, to think about. It. I believe it, but to have SEMA builds like that and and to be involved in it and to attend, that's got to be a huge accomplishment for you guys. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that's what that's what I kept us motivated. We're like, okay, see, we're we're getting somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he right. was talking about. He's been talking about SEMA for years before we even started rapping. He's like, one of my bucket list things to do is go, go to there. FEMA. <laughs> yeah, now you build so, you're building cars and customizing them for SEMA. Right. I mean, that's got to be even a, a bigger accomplishment. Right. It, it was that one of your biggest accomplishments as far as on your list of to dos. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, I believe so. Do you guys yeah, have because- any more on there? Any more accompl- like, like to do list to, yeah. on the to do um, list? Yeah, we uh, think we're ready to move to a bigger place. Oh, our, our shop is yeah. kind of like too small. And then to go to the gumball. <laughs> oh, gumball! <laughs> gumball there you go. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of a lot of cars get wrapped for that event. Yeah, the gold rush rally. Right. Not not yeah, it's a gold rush one where um it's a lot of exotic cars. Mm-hmm. They get fancy wraps. Yeah, a lot like like I was saying early in the podcast, uh, you know, a lot of your cars are uh American cars, Mopars, mm-hmm. Mustangs, things of that mm-hmm. nature. How often are you guys get in those JDM cars and exotic cars in? We really don't get too many JDM cars. 
We're gonna think, win this week. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 kind of it's kind of rare. I don't know if it's mainly because rap, you know, costs more, and a lot of times they don't want to spend more than the car is actually worth, or it's more than they put into the yeah, car. Yeah, more, more than they bought the car for. Right. So I think some sometimes it, it's it kind of scares them off. Yeah. And then I mean, you don't want to drop your price just just because. You know, it doesn't make any business sense to you. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You got to right. keep your price at at where mm-hmm. you need it to be. If someone can't afford it, maybe you can sell them on a partial, you know. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Accents. He does a lot of like fender rolling or like coilovers or imports, springs yeah. or something like that for them though. And- but like as far as full rest, we don't, we don't get too many, mm-hmm. too many uh, imports or I mean, even exotics there's not i don't think there's many too many in the area uh-huh. right like we get a lot of a lot of muscle cars camaros mustangs mopars get we get a lot of those that's like yeah. i think that's like our thing yeah now is that based on because you both have kind of the the mopar yes. kind <laughs> of american cars that you guys drive around yeah. in yeah i think that's what attracts them yeah I mean, so. I, I mean that's that's a definitely good thing because the the people that you're around and the uh-huh. type of environment and 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 kind of stuff that you own, usually uh-huh. people kind of react the same way to that type of kind of uh, I want to say industry. So like the Mopars, right. you guys are going to like the Mopar meets and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm, is that how you get a lot of your business, or do you guys do other yes. things now? We we do a lot of Mopar meets. We actually host meets at our uh, at our shop. At our shop. Oh, great! Mm-hmm. We try to do it. We're gonna try to do it at least once a month, but it's been like once every like two months for this year so far. Oh my god! Once a month would be ideal for you guys. The amount of yeah. work you could probably yeah, it, generate yeah, from that. Exactly, because we mm-hmm. usually get you know we get a couple of customers. From from those events, so yep. they work out. We go to car shows, like local car shows, and and those actually work. You know, paying that extra, you know, twenty bucks to to have your booth or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it helps you expose your business. You know, to at least to the locals. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so that, give out promotions. So that, mm-hmm. Oh my god, right. like yeah, like so that, that helps out. Like I saw recently, you guys were using the um the Lux Auto. Yeah. concepts yeah tail light tent i mean you, mm-hmm. you set up a meet for one day and be like yeah get you know ten dollars off your tail light tent and we'll do them right now mm-hmm. right yeah. you know you get 20 or 30 cars lined up that's a pr- that's a pretty good day <laughs> that's a, yeah. yeah our next meet we're grappling off a full wrap wow yeah, we're, um we're hosting a toys for tots uh-huh it's a little uh, i guess a little earlier a little early in the year but um yeah it's like it's like for charity so we're we're giving away a wrap, you know, like we're raffling off a, a full wrap for five dollars a ticket, and all the proceeds go to go to the charity. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great! Yeah, so we're, I mean, we're trying to trying to get involved, I guess, yeah. in the community somewhat. Yeah, giving back. There's no greater feeling than giving back to your your city, your town. Um, uh-huh. getting involved with these nonprofits are huge. <clears throat> I actually just had a a conversation. Um with someone her her name's Laura um Sajay Sajay and she mm-hmm. runs a uh, a uh, a nonprofit organization called Raps Raps for a Cause and we, I think we've seen that yeah. yeah 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 so I just I just talked to her uh last week and hopefully next week we 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 kind of uh launch our episode it's a shorter episode really just talking about you know why she uses the wraps for um her marketing campaigns mm-hmm. and and what she's doing and how she's doing it and, and 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 you know kind of what type of awareness she's she's creating with using the the vehicle wrap industry to um put out uh you know, awareness for either for uh, different like um, d- different, organizations. Yeah, either either uh, you know military stuff, you know Mission Twenty Two stuff, or mm-hmm. um, you know uh, suicide awareness things of yeah. that mm-hmm. nature. It's such a great thing that she's doing, and it's yeah, such and you a would think suff- what a what better way than to have you know driving billboards exactly, right. so just, exactly. Just, like, just like businesses. 
Exactly. I mean, it's, it's so good that like a lot of us can give back to the communities, um, by giving away a rap or doing a rap to create awareness and, and things of that nature to kind of just help out. You know what I mean? Right. I, I mean, yeah, we are for profit. You know what I mean? Everybody needs to make mm-hmm. money, but when you can stow a little bit of money aside, do something good like this that you guys are doing for Toys for Tots, it's such mm-hmm. a, it's such a great feeling. I mean, there's no other great feeling you can kind of absorb out of giving back to your community. Right. You know, and it's just good. It's just, I believe, and I've said it numerous times about karma. It's such a good karma oh, yeah. thing to put out there. It's such good vibes to put out there. And, you know. Yeah. And if, if you can do it, then why not? You know, exactly. You can help out. Exactly. You know, as much as we get uh, from being in the industry that we can give mm-hmm. back a portion of it. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's a win win for everybody. You right. know, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, how much uh, how much other marketing do you guys do, or do you guys solely work on of like referrals? Yeah, I think that's mainly, mainly referrals. referrals. Yeah. Wow. So, I think I think we get a better quality of customer with referrals. To be honest, mm-hmm. like I don't know, uh, we get customers from Yelp. Uh, but um, most of our customers are like a word of mouth, like, like, you know, we did work for them and, you know, they, they, they show it to other people and then they tell them where they got it. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. It's- That's the best way to run it at the beginning stages when you mm-hmm. can, when mm-hmm. you can, when you can run your business all of word of mouth, you know, mm-hmm. that you're putting out good work. That's- right. And that, pe- pe- yeah, people are talking about you and, and stuff like that. And you guys can build off of that. Do you guys have any, uh, like lulls in the year that are kind of like quiet weeks or months um, being in California? Yeah. Like, um, like around like the beginning of summer was kind of, kind of slow. And then like around Thanksgiving time too, it was kind of slow. Mm. The summertime it's it's always busy just because it's a it's a big show time of season, year yeah. for for shows and things like that. And then like right after Christmas, it's just everyone getting their taxes and stuff. Yeah. And they're like, "Yes, I can finally mod my car." <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, come tax season, everyone's ready to spend that money. I'm I'm right. good. Let's get that aftermarket part and that fresh wrap. Let's get it going. Yep. Yeah, or some people do it as like a Christmas gift and things like that. So, yeah, it's it's cool. It's always cool to be a part of things like that. Like we had one customer um, have us wrap her husband's car while he was deployed. He he wasn't planning on doing it for like another year or so. Wow. And he yeah he went underway for like two weeks. We had the car and he was so excited to to get his car back when he when he came back. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and and that stuff too, doing stuff for the military and and yeah. and you know, seeing their faces being um you know, happy that you guys got the work done or whatnot, it's so great. Right. Do you guys do like um what gift cards so to say for Christmas time and stuff like that? We haven't yet, but we're looking to doing something like that. Um just so it's not as harsh on on people because we understand people have kids and things like that and that they want they need to put their money too so we try not to try to help out around those those seasons right 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 definitely going back on your shop and upgrading i wanted to know how your shop layout um is kind of put together now what you guys have and what you guys are looking for moving out of this one into a new one um so when you first come in we have like our our front lobby where we have like our fish tank and stuff like that for there we had um uh, we, we had like a we had a waiting room set up before like a, you know, like a lobby yeah but um people usually just drop off their cars so we got we got rid of that and we just use that as you know where our plotter is nice and that's just what we use we just have you know a fish tank and our plotter and a desk Mm-hmm. And uh, and then the other room is 
pretty much the kids' room where we have, you know, their their big TV and their the couch, games, the couch their games, games and toys. That's awesome. So, yeah, <laughs> their own little game room. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's awesome. And then, and then we have like the main shop area where, you know, we just have all of our our racks of vinyl and toolboxes, toolboxes and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, we just think we need a, you know, just just like another, because I think our the size of it right now is what it's like a thousand something, like eleven hundred like square feet. Eleven hundred square feet. So maybe double that. I think we we should be good just to kind of separate you know like the, the rap stuff and just have its own you know place to keep clean for it because because we, his work yeah, is messy yeah my my, my work <laughs> is messy we can't it's kind of it's kind of hard you know i have to clean up after every everything we do right just to make sure we don't contaminate the wraps or anything like that it's, right yeah it's pretty hard mm -hmm. so, do you guys like just, do, you, do you guys have a lift or anything at your shop now no 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 not yet that, that's yeah it would take too much room i think yeah we've been wanting to get one but yeah. when we move to a bigger shop that's on the on on the, on must, the to do list must must, must have, have. have. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah i was gonna ask i was gonna ask you kind of like side note what do you guys have for fish in your fish tank <laughs> we have uh african cichlids uh-huh wow so just like different, like different um, breeds of them, different, different kinds of colors. like different colors and stuff. That's so fun. How how big is your tank? Uh, One hundred fifty gallon. Yeah, that's, wow. that's a big tank. So it's not yeah. not a not a fish bowl at all. <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a legit tank in there. Yeah. Holy cow! Jeez. What do you guys have like like black lights and stuff in there to kind of yeah. yeah yeah like lights yeah we actually the background to it is uh what is it the not deep space Russian riptide yeah we oh. figured it would <laughs> there you go the back of the tank. yeah we actually figured it would kind of you know water water name yeah Russian riptide would go with the fish so we wrap we wrap the back of the trunk. <laughs> hey you know if you're in the industry. Do what you gotta do, yeah. you know. Why not? Yeah, yeah. A little extra piece of vinyl and kind of make something look cool. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what we so did funny. with the the kids the uh, the kids room too the the playroom the yeah shop. We we wrapped their fridge as a Game Boy. I don't know if you saw that. I did see that. <laughs> that is so cool. You guys even I had did. like it's almost like you guys took the almost the exact same colors like. With the, yeah. the yellowish green right. background lettering and all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's it's cool. You can just throw scraps in there and like go to town. Yeah. Just don't. Uh -huh. No blades, just squeegees. <laughs> 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 oh, the oldest, man. the oldest, he likes to use a plotter to like plot out random like emojis and stuff like that to put around their room. <laughs> You know what? I think, you know, having access to a plotter, you guys must do the craziest projects. <laughs> yeah, like, we, I mean, we try to do, we're going to do most of that type of stuff on our cars so we can get more people in our area to want to do crazier, like, projects and stuff yes, like it's that. It's that step out of the norms because a lot exactly. of people don't want to, you know, they they just like simple color changes and, and even even the, the color flow uh, wraps we kind of try to push on to people because you know it's something different mm -hmm. right and not it's not but yeah because we get a lot of customers just want to do regular you know basic colors or they yeah or they'll see like something we've done for another customer and, they and they're the like thing. can i get the same thing <laughs> so we try to like we try to push them to be a little bit different because we don't you know we don't want the same work coming um it gets boring for us keep Doing yeah. the same thing. Well, well, we just like, we just wrapped that that same color last week, or yeah, you know. I like for everyone to be unique, right? Or feel happy about having you know their car look like how they envisioned it to be. Their personal preference, <laughs> right? Not not what someone else is driving around. It's like, oh, that <laughs> that would look great on my car. Where'd you get it done? Right. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's so funny. Now, as far as like using the plotter and stuff, did it did that? kind of go through like a learning curve for you guys how to figure out how to take yeah. a vector file yeah. and mm -hmm. figure out how to cut it <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do yeah. you how to how to set the blade and you know like it's 
yeah, it was pretty. It How was it works with different materials, yep. too. Yeah, the exactly. pressure. How many yeah. times have you guys cut something and go to weed it and it didn't cut? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> We we do it for now like we do a test run before we do like the bigger pieces just to be on the safe side. Yeah, the cir- the cir- does it do the circle with the square in it or does it make uh-huh. an X? It does no. the, the circle with the square. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's always a good test. And you know when you use reflective too. Oh God, I used to cut so much reflective. I would forget to change the blade, and uh-huh. uh, it would just like score it, and it would just suck to weed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it would just take forever to weed. You have and... to go in there and cut it yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the worst feeling in the world. Yeah, I'd I'd rather scrap it and and start over than to try to fix it at most of the time. Right. Yeah, because when it cuts good, it like it like weeds itself. Uh-huh. Yes. You just pull it off and done. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Now you guys have awesome cars, and and talking about custom graphics. I think on Edgar's your your car, you've got like kind of the drips going down on the front to kind of uh-huh. mimic the custom graphics and stuff like that. Now, how many renditions have you gone through since you've started the <laughs> the business? How many times has your car gotten wrapped and what colors and designs have you done? Oh man, and see Let's see, we started with the pearl, pearl white. white. Let's get pearl white and then uh we used the uh, heat wave by Arlon. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we added camel spots to that. After. Uh-huh, after. And then, um, let's see, then we did, uh, what is it, uh, Fresh Spring. Fresh Spring. And then somebody hit me, you know, side swipe my, my uh, fender. So then we added, like, a big blob on the sides. To make it look like to, the little picture. You know, to kind of <laughs> kind of hide it. <laughs> you know. Camouflage cause, it. Because <laughs> you, know, you know what the, um, what, what the color flow, like, if you if you don't have the same sometimes if you don't have the same batch it's not it doesn't flow correctly right uh-huh. like right. even 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 with different rolls you have little shade differences and it's easy it's easy to tell that it's not it doesn't flow together right, right. so I was like oh man I don't want we don't have any more of that so we're just just do it black <laughs> and then Simple. and then so uh, yeah <laughs> and then uh so a couple of weeks ago we just ripped it all off and then I was too so lazy to wrap it. that front bumper so I just, <laughs> I just the left, the, left the front bumper uh, green and just added the drips with the black that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> you know those 300 bumpers right <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're not they're not yeah. that easy that's why <laughs> right <laughs> again going Until back we to do the next color right right yeah. again you gotta just make it easier for yourself at the end of mm-hmm. the day plus you're showcasing Something different that you guys can do, which I'm sure goes a long way than just the color change. Right. Going back to the livery graphics and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now, who comes up with like some of the designs when you guys kind of get into the more detailed stuff? Like the livery graphics or the custom designs or custom stripes? Um, I think it's all both. It depends on what what uh, we feel the customer is looking for mm. you know like sometimes he like he can cater more to like the guys that come in just because they will be like this will look better and you know like go off based on their ideas because a lot of time they have like a general idea but they don't know exactly what they want yeah, yeah. so you kind of have to lay out like different designs and be like okay well look we can you know we can do this kind of stripe or this stripe or you know um and a lot of times they come in wanting to do like stripes just because they see another car with it. Mm-hmm. So like you said, it's like to me it doesn't seem broaden too... their mind. Yeah, we bit. yeah we give them different choices so that you know so that there's not too much of the same going around. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Seeing the same car with the same graphics is just yeah. like yeah. oh no, that that doesn't work. We, yeah, we literally had a week where it was like. All like, yellow like, Camaros. Yeah, all yellow Camaros. All wanted to be like <laughs> like Bumblebee Camaro, Transformer yep, Camaro with the st- black all stripes. Want, all wanted, yeah. yeah, the same thing, same, same stripes. They wanted the mirrors wrapped and like a, their gas cap. Yeah. Like wow. it's like three or four yellow Camaros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same thing. I would I would have them all come pick up the car at the same time. At the same time, <laughs> it'd be like, guess which car is yours. Right. That's here's here's so the keys. Yep. Yeah. That's Take, so guess funny. your car. 
<laughs> I mean, sometimes that happens. I mean, I guess that's kind of the market that you're in where you're going to do repetition. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, as a business, it's, I mean, you got to do it. Cause right. that's, at the end of the day, it's their choice and it's easier it's gonna on pay, you. It's going to pay your bills. Oh, hell yeah. Way easier so. on you. Oh my yeah. God. It's, yeah. I, if I could do the same thing over and over again <laughs> a couple times a week, I'd be okay with that. It's just, right. you're only going to get faster and, and, and quality is going to be great. And you're, you're already, right. know, you already know the measurements, like for yeah. the stripes. Cause if you don't use the pre-cut stripes, you got to lay it out yourself and it has to be perfect. Easy, right. easy money. Are you guys using yeah. like knifeless tape to do a lot yeah. of your stripe stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah. We use that a lot. Like, it's I don't best, know how many rolls we go through. It's yeah, the it's best so, so cool. thing to use. Yeah. It's so much easier than plotting them because you know how the Camaro hoods are. They oh, right. have the humps yep. and you can't gauge how much media you kind of need extra. And Yeah, and, right. it, and sometimes when you plot it and you, you, you need to go around a certain curve, it's going to stretch and it's not going to be straight. Right. right. Like, like it's, as if you would do the knife with tape. Yeah. So. Or hey, when people come in with their own like decals that oh. they like stripe kits oh, that they yeah. bought off of eBay, and we're like, it would have been so much easier if you just let us with transfer with transfer <laughs> yeah. transfer tape on it, and the back of yep. it says Oracle six fifty one. You're like, <laughs> oh, uh, what am I gonna do? Put this on oh. wet? What are you crazy? Yeah. Right. Like, and we had then we had to do it sometimes too. We're like, oh man, they already have it. Like last week we did a uh, that BMW. Right. So we did like some flags on a on a BMW on an M3 classic and classic yeah. flag yeah. old school with the yeah. re- right. red what is it red orange blue or it was a it was it's like blue, red blue and sky like, blue and and like dark blue yeah, yeah that's that was what like it a is. factory that was like a factory decal yeah. like, uh-huh. that they that they bought and it was the same thing it was like the the Oracle what was it six. 651. Yeah, yeah, that one. Just total calendar not, film. Yep, <laughs> yeah. Not stretched, no air release. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. So going around those curves to lay it out perfect was a little hard. Mm-hmm. Did, you, did you guys have to pull out the uh, air release tool a couple times? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Pop those bubbles. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know, if the money's there and they're willing to spend it, to have it installed yeah. yeah i'll put it on but you're gonna right you're gonna pay for the amount of hours it's gonna take me to do yeah, it that's, right that's, yeah so it costs way more to put it on than what you paid for the for the, for vinyl. the vinyl right yeah right yes yeah, exactly yeah. because a lot of times we could have plotted out with you know like regular regular, film. regular rap film and it probably would have been easier on us and it came out better too yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do, do you guys have access or know someone in the commercial side of the industry that if you needed something, uh, printed or whatnot, that you guys do any printed stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, our, uh, our neighbors, uh, two doors down, they do, they do like signs and stuff too. Yeah. Really? So they do. Yeah, yeah. It worked out. Yeah. So they, <laughs> so they don't, they don't do any like vehicle wraps or installs. So whenever they have any commercial wraps, they usually just send them to us. Or if we need anything like printed, no, we go through them. Yeah, we either go through them or we use we print wraps a oh, lot before yes. too. There we yeah. go. They're, they're they're pretty cool. I like I like them. Go to uh-huh. go to old Trish. She's she's amazing, and to have right. have that industry uh, mm-hmm. there for us in that service. Oh my God, it's. Yeah, because the process is so simple, you know, it's easy on us. <laughs> oh, I they bet. Just send, they just send it and we install it. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And if you needed someone to design it, they have someone there mm-hmm. to design it. It's just amazing. Right. Full service. You don't have to deal with mm-hmm. nothing. You take that cost, you accumulate it to your invoice, you make the client right. pay for it, and you install it. It's a win-win. Right. It's a, it's amazing what – and. and Given that you guys, I mean, they're in Arizona, but that's probably like what a one day ship to you guys. Yeah, it's a day. It's, a, yeah. it's usually the next day. Like, oh. So yeah, it'll be here the next day. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, I really, I, I honestly am really jealous because it takes it takes about five days to get all the way to East Coast where I am. I am. I'm like oh. all the way on the other side of the world for them. But yeah, um, we're we seem to be like in a, in a good spot because we have uh we have fellers down in down in San Diego too. So if we 
definitely need something the same day, then we'll go drive down and pick it up. Yeah. How long is the drive for you? For the for like there? thirty minutes. Oh, yeah, like 30, 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you guys get a, uh, some of your stuff from Metro as well? Yeah. Yeah. Like a KPMF yeah. and stuff like that. Yep. Uh mm-hmm. huh. That's awesome. Chris is such a great dude from over there as well. Yeah, and they're all they're always fast with with our shipment and stuff like that, and they communicate well. If yeah. there's any issues. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and they've got a facility, which is great in um, Las Vegas. They right. can send that out instead of the one in Michigan, which would probably take you five days to get to you guys. <laughs> you yeah. Uh, we have yeah, a couple. Some yeah. Great. There's some that come from uh, Michigan and it takes us about five or six days. To get yeah. Them. Yeah. When you're yeah. looking for that vinyl at the door every day, waiting for the UPS guy to just- <laughs> Stop in, yeah. like, hey, do you got that shipment for me? Nope, not doing it. Right. right, right. But yeah, it's it's great that we have all these um, distributors so kind of nationwide um, mm-hmm. uh-huh. where everyone can benefit from it. You know, f- f- I can't even tell you the stuff that Frank's doing and having all these locations and the conveniency of having Mm -hmm. so much media and tools and products and each and every one of his warehouses has completely changed the game for our industry. Um, Just having things in stock or even being able to get them next day. is just amazing. Um, Going back to Chris, same idea, you know, him being Mm -hmm. all the way up in Michigan, another warehouse. It's just a win-win for everybody. And, Trish at we print it's just like game changer on that note you know with the yeah. com- commercial side or even like the livery stuff stickers mm-hmm. banners um just so much wholesale stuff and you know the name of the game is making money you know we right. all, we all want to make money and you know when you go to your neighbor and you you're getting charged probably probably reasonable i mean i'm sure he's hooking you guys up a little bit you guys are neighbors but when you're paying mm-hmm. five six dollars a square for, yeah. for right. media when you can it's get crazy yeah there's no i mean there's meat there's meat on 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 the plate that you can benefit from to, to up but not much yeah. but not much but when you're getting it yeah. for 350 you know 375 a square oh, yeah now you're talking uh-huh. Now you're talking dollars. That's where I need to be at all the time <laughs> to make money. You know what I mean? Because, right. you know, as far as like your square footage, um, at least here in Mass, we try to be somewhere between $12, $15 a square foot uh, for installs. Um, uh-huh. So when you're paying three fifty. I mean, and you're paying maybe three to four dollars a square foot for installation. Um, so now you're creeping up to seven, seven fifty. Uh huh. Got a pretty good profit yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. You know that yeah. that 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 keeps your internet running. That keeps your mm-hmm. shop rent going. That yeah. keeps your lights on. Your lights. water, <laughs> heat, AC. That's AC. Yeah. We- Oh man, the AC has helped us out a lot. Oh my these past god! Past few past few months, <laughs> we had like these random heat waves. Because nor- normally it's it's pretty good weather. Like we just keep the door open, the the bay door open, and we're good. Yeah, but really. Lately, oh man, yeah. We just <sighs> lately we've been just been having to close that thing and turn on the AC. Yeah, I don't know how you guys yeah. work with the doors. Sometimes I watch videos of people in like California and they got their doors open and they're wrapping. I'm like, you guys are crazy. I was there for five days. I could not walk outside without sweating. Like, <laughs> how are you wrapping cars with the door open? Like you're crazy. <laughs> It's like it's like installing like gum that's been outside for <laughs> five minutes, trying to stick yeah. it, stick it on a car. It's like it's just not gonna work. Like how, how do you do that? Is it no some... heat gun needed? Oh, no I'm heat sure, gun. oh, I'm sure there's no heat gun. Oh my god, that's a, that's just amazing. I just I I couldn't tell you when I was in California. I mean, it wasn't that bad at that time, but mm-hmm. I walked five blocks from where I was staying to the convention center with mm-hmm. a backpack, all my equipment. Oh, oh if, it's because of the time. Yeah. You came if, you, the if, wrong time of if, year. if you came and it was uh, above 70, then it was, it was a hot time. 
Oh, for sure. It was during <laughs> RapsCon. Yeah. I mean, that whole week was oh, yeah. like a scorcher. Yeah, was, I was like, yeah. wow, it's really hot out here. I got red one day. I was like, damn. And I don't burn, <laughs> I don't burn that easy. I'm Portuguese. I maybe burn oh, okay. <laughs> once and then I'm like tan the rest of the summer and I went home red, like red. I couldn't believe oh, it. Oh, man. Yeah, but it was a good time. It was worth it at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> if that's my only complaint, I'm good with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, right. Here, 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 we get to see all four seasons. So we're going to be transitioning here in the next couple of weeks where it's going to drop down to like um, maybe mid to low 70s. And it will stay consistent to about that till like October-ish. And then pff, forget it. It's like... 45 35 oh wow, oh, wow. it's it's we don't get anything like that yeah it, it's, <laughs> if it's anything like during snow winter boots. at night yeah <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. it's snow boots gloves winter hat you know it's just a whole nother level and then we're complaining that it's too cold we can't wait for winter for summer and then it's way too hot here because the, hum- right. the humidity is just through the roof and you know anybody that rap installs in like really humid weather it's just it's almost worse than working in like just regular hot weather with no humidity right it just it just absorbs all that moisture and it's just like a wet blanket to mm-hmm. install I imagine. <laughs> yeah yeah it's not yeah. fun definitely not fun but you know i'm very envious of the type of weather you guys have because year round <laughs> you guys can wrap here it's really tough because it's it's you know we have those those winter spells and it's salt sleet it's ice um you know yeah and that's sn- bad snowy and it's you know you spend a half a day blowing out the water out of the gaskets and most yeah. of the times oh, you try to get the cars in the night before and, you know, you crank your heat up 65 throughout the night to get the snow off and get the water dry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, oh, dang. It's so tough. That's, and, a, that's a whole other aspect yeah. of it that we haven't seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's, it, it eats up the laminate too. Yeah. Re- really, really bad. The salt from the, uh, from the trucks. From the road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just eats up that laminate so much more and. It's it's a little bit tougher to, to maintain a wrap here in New England, but with the heat, it ain't any better either. You know, with mm-hmm. the, with the heat on the hoods, mm-hmm. on the roofs, the tops of the yeah. trunks. Um, it it's funny. It's funny how the warranties are so different from East Coast and West Coast. The, yeah. Oh yeah. The two. I mean, we we usually get a pretty good warranty, two to three years. You guys get like one year. <laughs> Cause it, it, <laughs> you, you know, one year your son is just completely like beating yeah. down on these vehicles. It, it's just amazing the amount of um kind yeah, of it's brutal different. like rays that are just hitting those cars. <laughs> it's just, yeah, exactly. It's just unreal. But at the end of the day, it's it's kind of good because it's a repeat business. They want that fresh look. I'll see you next year. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Get yeah, that new much. hood wrap or whatnot, and, and it's it's great. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, I know you know it's it's getting at least late for me. It's still early for you guys, but um, oh, yeah. I know <laughs> I know you guys have your, uh, your 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 kids and everything. So I appreciate your time um, that you've guys taken out of your day to sit down and talk. Is there anything else that you guys want to bring up that maybe I, I didn't bring up that I overlooked that you guys might want to talk about? Not, not really. Are you going to be at the, um, raps? What is it? The, the, the raps party. party in, uh, Vegas. Oh, for, for SEMA. Uh, uh-huh. uh, maybe <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it, I'm still up in the air about, uh, not about tending, but <clears throat> I just have a few things I have to kind of, um, work out here before I go uh-huh. out, which I'll probably announce at some point. Um, a cool, cool, okay. cool stuff, but, uh, it depends on how that goes. Um, okay. if I'm, if I'm able to attend or not, if, if I don't, it's still a good thing for me personally. Um, it's a win-win uh-huh. maybe next year. Uh, I would have loved to, to go to SEMA this year just because it would have been ideal because of RapsCon and 
Raps VIP and meeting everybody mm-hmm. and right. go, going back and and seeing everyone again, you know, a couple months later would be would be awesome for me. But um, I just have some loose ends I got to tie up here and just all for the for the for the best. Um, yeah, and Together. we'll we'll see what happens. But I'm I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers and and uh, hoping that I'm, I'm able to go. But We've got like about another month, month or so, month and a half. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Give before it. you know it, it's here. Oh, so. I know. I know. And I'm yeah. sure you guys will be busy with those builds. So I can't wait oh, to see those yeah. posts when everything's said and done. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll sneak we, we, we hope to see you there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And everybody else there too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's going to be a great time. It was nice talking to you, though. Oh, you guys are great. We had some fun. Oh my god, yes, yeah. some great, some great laughs. You guys were amazing at the Raps VIP. You know, it was so it's so great to talk to you guys. You guys are so humbled, and and I love that. You know, family oriented and and just got your kids involved and everything. It's it's such a great feeling. I, and I can you know, you guys are just great, great human beings. And uh, you know, I only wish you guys well Thank for. You. The, the the rest of this year, you know what I mean? Uh, and many, many years to come. Thanks, you as Thank well. You. Well, let everybody know where they can find uh, the shop and, and your personal uh, Instagram, Facebook, websites. Um, let everybody know where they can find you. Just Google G Spot Auto Works. It'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll come up. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, well, simple. Instagram. Right, his Instagram's G Spot Auto Works. Mine's Juicy Wraps with the Z. Um, we're in Oceanside, California, and um, yeah, you can find us on Facebook or Yelp or anything like that. G Spot Auto Works. So, yeah, with a name like that, can't go wrong. Just <laughs> right. don't click. Just don't click the link underneath yeah, it. Just- you, right. you just, might regret just make, just make it. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's the right one. You're gonna have to make read sure it twice. The right one. Yep. Make sure it says auto works. Yeah, yeah. auto works. Not 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 water works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We went there. Yes, love it, love it. We can totally end on that note. That was that's way better than me saying that's a wrap. <laughs> I bet you you had that written down oh, all no. day <laughs> until I brought that up, didn't you? Come on, Edgar. Don't lie. Don't lie. Let me know. Hey, man, I, I just shoot from the hip. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. that's the best way to do it, man. That's the best <laughs> way to do it. That's awesome. Well, you guys were great. Thank you so much again for coming on no and taking problem. the time. Um, you guys are killing it. Keep on doing what you guys are doing. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with your SEMA builds and all that good stuff. Um, again, I, I wish you guys well for 2018. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed this episode of the All Wrapped Up podcast. Hit that rank button and review. And to stay up to date with future podcasts, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, folks. That's a wrap.